Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys, I'm going to be telling y'all what are the best characters to start off with in multiverses and the best players or best characters overall at the time of the playtest since we're allowed to talk to it. So take this with a grain of salt because there could be a lot of different changes. There could be minimum little changes. We don't know, um, but they've definitely been updating the game because, you know, the game is not um, finalized. So this tier list I am giving you is based off of the last playtest since I could talk about it now and let's get straight into it. Now, I'm going to start off with characters that are probably the easiest to just hop in and play with. And this is the list right here, guys. We're going to have Finn, Harley, Shaggy, Batman, and Wonder Woman at the top. And the reason why is I want to say they're pretty, I say basic, but basic as in like learning how to play with them. You know, you just run up, attack, attack, attack. They kind of have their own fluent combo type uh, moveset. So they're pretty much one of the easiest characters to pick up and have fun with your friends and go crazy. Um, next, we're going to have Jake. Garnet and Superman, again, somewhat pretty easy to play with, but again, they have a little, I want to say gimmicks that changes them up a little bit to where it's not just combo, 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 it's more like hits into run-ins to, to hits again and etc. But at the same time, not fully like the other characters at the bottom, as you can see, but they're pretty, you know, self-explanatory, just a little bit more difficult than I want to say the top tier list that I have. And then finally, we're going to have Bugs. Steven, Arya, Rain Dog, Tom and Jerry, and Velma. These characters, I feel like it takes a little bit more time to learn and understand how to actually do combos. Again, all these characters have, you know, decent hits, I guess you could say. But after that, um, you're going to actually have to lab or watch other people's videos to actually learn combos with them to, like, be more fluent as these other characters at the top. And, yeah, um, once you start multiverses and you've never played any playtests, I would recommend, again, the top list, but if you just want to play your favorite character, then go right ahead, man. Um, Next, we're going to have, I want to say, the top tier list for duos, because ones and twos is a little bit different, and because the game is focused on duos, I'm just going to say the duos um more recommended uh, to know. So, at our top tier list, we're going to have Steven, Velma, Arya, Wonder Woman, and Harley. Steven, number one twos player in the world when i say this kid is a support bruiser assassin mage he's everything i want to say he should be nerfed but at the same time it just plays his character so well hopefully they do a little damage reduction and, and knockback but man he has a move where he um neutral recoveries and he turns into a bubble for himself and his teammate it takes a couple hits to break when he does his bubble he can't attack but his teammate can attack when he when they're in their bubble just just too amazing. There's just no way you won't be seeing a um, Steven in top tier um, tournaments and stuff. Next, we have Velma. Velma is, I want to say a support, but just a god tier mage because of her kits and everything she could do. She has this, um, I want to say, flashlight beam that, or no, microphone beam that where if she hits her teammate, not only does it heal um, their teammate for, you know, X amount, I forget how many, but it also blasts a bigger and even stronger attack of that uh, microphone ray to an opponent and if, it, and if it hits like the last second then it's like a huge knockback and I want to say probably 15 to 20 damage I'm just speculating um Aria Aria has been changed you know nerfs and stuff but at the time of the playtest she had a it's not an infinite but a really 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 toxic gimp that literally just gives you like a free kill every time so that's one reason why I want to say she's at the top she's still a very solid um character um at the top but she's very harder to learn i want to say but very solid assassin still at the top of twos next we have wonder woman she's like the lower tier of steven but goddamn, those shields that she has and she's able to implement on herself and her teammates is just so amazing and then finally we have harley i want to say literally the first or the second best assassin game currently in the game her movement is fast and fluent she has nice a kit with the um, bomb bomb that can set her up for tricks to kill people in the air. She also has the balloon um, setup trap that can save her from off map. Also can, again, set up her opponents for instant free kill if they hit it. And that is your S tier list of like your best, best players in twos that you probably should run. Next we have is, um, is our second tier is uh, Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny, I want to say is probably the number one mage. Um, in the game as of right now from speculating from you know from the tournaments and just playing people he has a safe he has the rocket 
He has pie, he has charm. He just has all these crazy gimmicks that makes him like one of the best zoners in the game. And definitely recommended. Really would probably switch him with Harley just for the fact of how crazy his um, range is. But, you know, I can't be. People don't look at me like you're biased. Play Harley. Get out of here. But yeah. Um, Rain Dog. Again, I'll probably put him in the S tier, but because I know nerfs, I kind of put that into recognition of this tier list because he did get nerfed. Used to, he used to be able to spam uh, projectiles a lot, but now they have cooldowns and, you know, a limit of how much you could do. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Um, again, another great range um, zoner that this takes the field. Also has a, a great, great save ability um, for um, his teammates if he links um, a chain. I'm pretty sure if you're between the chain, it also does damage. And again, if you are messing up his teammate and you're about to zone, um, you know, knock him out, guess what? He can just pull him right back in. And going back to Bugs Bunny, I um, forgot to say, also has the tunnel. Also has a perk that... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the perks, actually. Let's save the perks for y'all, you know, as a surprise. Um, next, we have Batman. Batman is pretty much in this community as of right now is just known as the better harley um but for batman he's more stronger in ones because he has a cool battering that's amazing that gives him awesome combos but when it comes to twos you can't really focus on one person you know you have to focus on two so even though you possibly might be comboing one of their um you know opponents guess what the other opponent is most likely gonna come back and stop you from doing that and that's what makes him kind of a little bit worse than harley at least in twos because her kit is like overall all around and pretty much like straight to the point versus Batman is to build up damage. Um, next we have A is Superman. Again, Superman probably would have been um, S, but again, because I know the nerfs and stuff, um, kind of drops him down a little bit. Superman is your tank. Even though he's a bruiser, it's Superman. He is someone that's going to survive probably like 150, 170 plus if you're not attacking him correctly with your movesets. Um, he had a, he still kind of has this thing because it got nerfed, but pretty much most of his um, grounded moves, or I think all his grounded moves, are armor moves. If you don't know what armor move is, pretty much um, a armor where when you attack, um, you're able to get hit once without interruption. So once they hit you, you could pretty much hit them and not be interrupted, and you know you set your combo up. Unless you know you get hit with an armor breaker or hit with multiple moves at once, then it breaks your armor and then hits you instantly. Then yeah, but. He's just a solid character just because of that um, gimmick. It kind of is hard to push him if you're not, you know, uh, pushing him correctly. Because he'll just punish you every time with the armor move because he'll get the first hit. Uh, next we have Finn. Again, Finn would have been at the top. But, due to some changes, he drops down a little bit. But, again, still a solid, solid swordsman. Um, I feel like he wasn't pushed to his limits again because, um, you know, it was a limited playtest. Same with all these characters. Like I said, that's why I said take it with a grain of salt. Because even though I'm saying this from experience and experience from others, not everyone played every character. Not everyone played one certain character the longest like others. So, you know, there's probably some cool combos that we just never seen yet that I can't wait to see with this playtest, which is kind of more open than the last one. But yeah, great moveset, great swordsman. Um... I want to say probably one of the top two ranges in like melee attack characters in the game right now. Solid. He also has amazing shop that gives him speed boost, um, some weird shield attack thing, BMO, and I want to say a, a damage boost. But pretty much he has a shop that when you attack people, you pick these coins, you can buy stuff to make him better, like a power up character. So very solid. And not only that, it doesn't only power him up, it also powers him and his teammate. Next, we have is Shaggy. Yes, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm, the reason why he's not S tier is because I'm just belittling him a little bit, you know? He's just too powerful that I have to bring him down. But nah, so, um, Shaggy is a solid character, but I feel like he's one of the characters that just wasn't pushed to his full potential, I want to say. Um, he definitely has some nice, cool um, combos that I had to deal with actually getting put into, but, you know, definitely a solid character. Again, I feel like because I don't know too much and haven't seen that much from, you know, the uh, close tournament that we had and just playing against um, Shaggy's and Shaggy mains. I didn't really see nothing too crazy where it's like, oh my god. Um, but, you know, very still solid character with his overcharge instinct and power ups and etc. Finally, we have our bottom tier list. And I know some people are crying, like, why? Why is my character at the bottom? Hey, man, that's just how it is. So, Jake, the reason why Jake is at the bottom is just he doesn't really compare to the others. But then again, like I said, there wasn't that many Jake mains. He has some really nice spammy moves, but in, in almost every fighting game that I've seen and, you know, competitive people see is that when people use spammy moves, once you learn how to get out of it, it kind of 
just beats the purpose of the whole character, right? You know, like that per that character that player is just bad now because now you know how to dodge it and punish every time. So that's what he's his he's really more um in for. Don't get me wrong, he definitely has his combos if you know it. Some some splendid combos, but compared to everybody else, he just doesn't meet the standards in my opinion. Next we have Tom. Tom and Jerry is a nice zoner in twos, but I I just I don't know, man. Like even though you know you saw the you know the trailer and etc he just doesn't hit the same when it comes to ranges like bugs or rain dog or shoot even velma um but he could definitely be an annoying character and a low-key character as you saw with the tennis ball that he took out shaggy with from that last map i ain't gonna lie man he he, he got that like it, it definitely is a sneaky ca character but again based off of everybody else he just doesn't pack the punch and then finally, we have Garnet, and the only reason why Garnet's at the bottom is because no one really played her, so there's not too much that we know of her. Yeah, some people did play her to learn certain things, but she had certain um, movesets that kind of locked her in, because if you don't know, in this game, you could cancel your attacks. She was the only character that, that um, was locked into certain moves, or most of her moves, which is really bad. I want to say they definitely fixed that. Like I said, I know some patches, they didn't say everything. You know, if you go in the Discord, Tony's talking and stuff. You know, he, you know, he talks a little bit. He's like, hey, guys, you know, we did this and that, you know. But, um, yeah, man, Um, hopefully she got some nice changes. Um, He definitely told us that she's getting buffed. So, hopefully, she'll be playing like all the other characters now. Because the reason why they had to do that or thought of that is because she's Garnet. She's pretty much like a Superman version female that packs a punch so i think that's why they kind of like locked her into her move sets but hopefully you know that changes and we could definitely see more garnets in the future and more potential out of her um and that's it for the tier list guys you know the first tier list is for if you're newcomers definitely focus on those characters before you try a little more difficult characters and if you're already a good player or you're already a good fighting player and you want to go straight into the top tiers of playtest 2 again these things could change you know all these characters could change something that makes them better or worse so take that with a salt of green guys and that's it for the video leave a like if you like the video comment about anything comment if you feel like i'm wrong about these tier lists or something i want to say this tier list is based off of like one of the top players in the game because um, this one is actually not mine mine's a little bit different not too far off but just a little bit different within the top tiers but yeah um, but yeah, comment about anything, you know, I love to hear, I'm um, hearing y'all replies and, you know, replying back to y'all. And this is the first time I've watched my videos. Again, what are you doing? Guys, I'd be on the Multiverse's news, the updates. I'm going to have amazing gameplay that's coming up when the game finally drops, tips and tricks, everything. So this is going to be the number one channel for y'all for Multiverses. So hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about. Left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got another five on the side. She a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.